Is that Jay is... Wait. It's on the top. That's, That's Jay, Jay White. White. Yeah. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoons to Light. Let's talk about it, y'all. Let's talk about um uh the this this ending, man. This ending was this ending this ending was interesting. Because first of all, in the comment section, whatever you got, whatever predictions you got, please put them in the comment section before, you know. I want I usually say that towards the end, but this is the video I want to see a discussion in the comment section. I don't want to just see it be an empty, nobody commenting and stuff. No, I want to see y'all actually interact on this video. Um, because there's some stuff we got to talk about here. Um, first, so let, let me get right to what happened. So, Switchblade White came out to challenge MJF for the title earlier in the night after Adam Cole had announced that, uh, you know, he's going to be on the shelf probably for a year because he tore his Achilles. And, um, and, and so after that, J Switchblade White came out the Bullet Club and he left the other members behind though. He wanted to talk to MJF one-on-one. They had a pretty good promo segment and he looks like he's going to be the next challenger for MJF's title. And I'm glad he is because Switchblade deserves that opportunity, man. And to be honest, I would love it if MJF got the title, man. I think he'd be a good champion. Um, but. So, at the end of the episode, <laughs> this was crazy. So, after Hangman hey Adam Page had a uh, stab Swords circling hand, he had to get the, and the security officials had to get, you know, uh, get off of Swerve, because uh, he was going to kill that man after he did that. We go to a backstage scene. So, and by the way, I got both videos up. I covered the... Adam Cole announcement that he's injured in uh, what happened with that uh, hangman pair. So just check on my channel. I'll probably have him on the end screen as well at the end of the video. But so we saw four men dressed in black beat up Jay White. And it was clear that it was Jay White because we saw him get turned over and we knew it was Jay White. Then a fifth man in black where MJF's devil mask appeared and looked into the camera. The man put his uh, hand over the camera to end the show. So. What are my thoughts about this? Great segment. Great way to end the show. And we don't usually get the... And see, one of the things that I miss about wrestling these days, we don't have too many good cliffhanger endings like we used to have. This one will get the people talking, and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Everything that they've been doing with the MJF stuff the last few months has been really good. Um, They, they really rescued this guy's title reign because this dude's title reign was going nowhere earlier this year, man. But, um, so... Now... I didn't cover this in a separate video because I don't have time. But there was a segment where there was a vignette showing Adam Cole and MJF on the boat, right? Very some very funny segment. And it looked like MJF was going to use the brass ring to hit Adam Cole with it from behind. And Adam Cole even said, are you going to hit me with that ring? You know, uh, And I don't know if MJF was going to really hit him or not. So there's two things to think about here. Is MJF... Going to turn back into the real devil character, you know, the, the not this uh, overjoyed like baby face type of character that he's been. Is he going back to that now that Adam Cole is away? Because that is his mask, right? Or is it somebody else acting like the MJF, someone that got a beef with Jay White, or someone that's trying to frame MJF that way to put more heat on him with the Bullet Club? Bullet Club go. I think that's where this gets very, very interesting, guys, because it could be anybody. I, 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 for some reason, I don't think it was just MJF. I really don't think it was just MJF, guys. I really don't think it was just MJF. And I think that's the reason why they did it at the end. If you watch wrestling long enough, and when they usually have cliffhangers, they make you think about stuff. They usually make you think about stuff. So I think they want us to think because I don't I don't I don't see the purpose. If it was MJF, why not just have him take off his mask and let us know that it's him right away? And I got this feeling it's not MJF because MJF doesn't have many friends backstage either. Now he does have guys that you know when he was with um 
what was that the uh, mogul NBC when he was working with Prince Nana you know he had um used them at one point I think when he had uh when he was the Joker last year right when he used that uh and he and he had some help but I don't think that this is I think that this is somebody else and that's what's making this very intriguing it could be anybody guys it could be anybody. And we're going to keep talking about this, man. I want y'all, I'm going to let y'all take over in the conversation who y'all thought this was, man. This is this is great, though. This was great. This was absolutely great, man. Go ahead and get this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. After news, so, like, I can't wait to hear from y'all, man.